Hi everyone, today we're going to be breaking down in depth how to use the Numskull Pro Racing wheel and pedals. We'll show you how to set up the controllers across all compatible devices, as well as show you how to use some of the more advanced features such as button remapping. To start with, this device is compatible with all racing games on PS4, Xbox One and PC. It can be placed and controlled from your lap, or can be stuck to a surface to be used as part of your gaming setup using the suction cups on the bottom. If for whatever reason this video doesn't help you, you can find a link to the official instructions manual in the video description. If this video answered your questions and you'd like to find out about more coming soon from Numskull, give this video a like and hit the subscribe button. So let's start with the setup. To use a controller on PlayStation 4, please follow these steps in this order. 1. Make sure the PS4 is turned off. 2. Plug the wheel cable into a USB port on the console. 3. Plug the cable from the pedals into the steering wheel. 4. Turn on the console. 5. Plug an official PS4 controller into the USB port located on the wheel using the provided USB slash micro USB cable. An important note, the controller must be switched off. 6. The red LED of the wheel will stay lit. Press the home button on the wheel to connect it to the console. 7. The steering wheel is now ready to use. If your device has lit up but still isn't working, please make sure that the cables are securely locked into the controller and the wheel. A loose connection can prevent the device from working properly, as can plugging in the cables and controller at the wrong points in the process. Please follow the outlined steps in the correct order to use the item properly. The setup is very similar on Xbox One. 1. Make sure the Xbox One is turned off. 2. Plug the wheel cable into a USB port on the console. 3. Plug the cable from the pedals into the steering wheel. 4. Turn on the console. 5. Plug an official Xbox One controller into the USB port located on the wheel using the provided USB slash micro USB cable. Again, the controller must be switched off. 6. The red LED of the wheel stays lit. Press the home button on the wheel to connect it to the console. 7. The steering wheel is now ready to use. Setup on PC is slightly simpler. Once you've plugged the pedals into the controller and prepared your setup, plug the wheel into your PC by an available USB port. This will automatically set up the wheel like any other controller would. No discs or driver downloads necessary. In Steam, this will be registered as a gamepad, and if you're using Xbox Game Pass on the PC, you will also just be able to plug in via USB as the device will be recognized as an Xbox controller. Important note, the steering wheel by default uses the X input protocol, so it is compatible with the latest games. Some older games may utilize the direct input protocol. If you find this is the case and you're having issues, I'd recommend switching to direct input mode. To do this, press and hold the home slash mode button for three seconds and the LED will flash to indicate the change. This mode will then be used by default. You can switch from one mode to another at any time by holding down the home slash mode button for three seconds. The controller is quite simple to use, using button prompts for the consoles you'd expect, with arrow keys available for navigating up and down on any in-game menu. There are a few more advanced features though, so I'll walk through these as well. Depending on what type of game you are playing, you might want to change the sensitivity of the steering wheel. To the left of the wheel, you'll find a sensitivity slider with the low, mid and high options. Low will give you low sensitivity, the steering angle is normal and adapted to most of the racing games. Mid will give you medium sensitivity, there's a smaller steering angle which makes for quick turns in racing games. I personally found myself using this when using the device. High will give you high sensitivity. This is really good for small quick turns and may suit your playstyle better if you want to make it round sharp corners with ease. This controller caters to a lot of different racing games across different systems, so it's likely there will be a few occasions where you want to alter the controls. You can often do this within the games themselves, but if you'd like to change the configuration on the wheel itself, that's also possible. Eight keys can be programmed on the steering wheel. These include the left and right paddle buttons, the left and right pedals, L3 and R3, and gear shift plus and gear shift minus. To remap the control scheme, simply press and hold simultaneously the options and share buttons for three seconds. The LED will now be lit orange. Now press any of the eight programmable keys to set up a new function. The LED will flash orange to indicate this is in progress. Finally, press a button that you would like to reassign to the programmable key. The LED will turn red again to indicate that the key is now programmed. Repeat those steps to program any other buttons if necessary. To reset one of the programmed keys, press the options and share buttons again for three seconds, then press on the programmed key that you would like to reset. The LED will flash orange, you can press the same button again, 
and the LED will turn red to indicate the key is now reset to default. To reset all of the programmed keys, press and hold the options and share buttons for 3 seconds, and when the LED lights up orange, press and hold the options and share buttons for another 4 seconds. This will reset the whole configuration. Alternatively, you can unplug the wheel to reset. So that's an overview of the features included in the Numskull Pro Racing Wheel and Pedals. We hope this has helped you set up and that you enjoy the races you're about to experience.